Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like at a clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom for Monday, the 17th, I believe it is, that we're doing now. Yeah, check that out. I don't even know what the date it is. No, it's going to be the 18th tomorrow. We're doing, I'm doing it on the 17th. Just finished watching the football game. Got to hand it to B, the B part of B, B Pal Picks. Professor Boric, nail in NFL this weekend. And by the way, if you want our NFL picks, or our weekend picks, you'll have to go over to the Patreon. Um, I gave you picks for Saturday this time, but uh, I won't be giving uh, weekend picks from now on. So go over to our Patreon. It's I'll put the link in the bio, or in the uh, comments and and. Pr- um, and you can look down there in the comments for five twenty or twenty five dollars. People are making mad money right now. We are twenty two and eleven in hockey, which is okay for me. But in the beginning of the year, um, usually it usually takes a little while to get adjusted to uh, the teams and how they're going to play and all of those sort of things like that. So if I'm pulling twenty two and eleven, first thing in the year, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the uh, why do I keep on looking like I'm off kilter? Like, there, no, look, I'm always over to the right, anyways. Doesn't matter, you don't care, do you? Okay, um, so we're gonna do picks for Monday the 17th. Thanks for your subscribing over there to the Patreon. We got people flooding over there, and I see why because, like I said, we're making big scratch. Uh, Oh, by the way, later on, if you're watching this early, uh, Mondays now from 2 till 4 Eastern, I'm doing Monday, Friday, Saturday, or sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm doing I'll have a live broadcast from steelflyers.com, the best all sports radio. I'll be talking about all teams, all the games, five days a week, two hours a day, 12 to 2 Eastern. Now, okay, let's get into the games. Uh, of course, as you know, I cannot give you all of these uh, all of these games because I have given them out as paid picks. I will give you the odd paid pick here every once in a while, though. So listen in tight. And let's get at it. Jackets versus Red Wings. Jackets coming off uh, back-to-back losses to the Preds. Fortunately for them, they get a Red Wings team that uh, is coming off of a high. They did look very good against Carolina in their last game, but they did pull it off. So um, I've got a I've got a play on the total for a paid pick. So I'm going to give you a um, play on the line, and I'll bring it up here. As you can see, you got this is the total. I'm going to move over here and grab our line. Change it over to the line for you. Money line, they're giving Columbus 162 over Detroit. I'm taking Columbus, but I'm only going to go money line on this. It's not the greatest juice, I know. You might get 63 on bet online. Uh, looks like 63 is the best you can find out there. I'll go money line, but I'm only going money line because Columbus is looking a little disheveled with this whole thing that's going on with Dubois. And uh, to tell you the honest truth, I'm, I'm confident they'll win, but I'm not confident they'll win by much. Um, I wouldn't even go in reg. I could see that going even into overtime. Boston versus the Islanders. I got a, another play on the total here, so we're not going to go there. Um, kind of wondering what's going on with Varlamov, who got injured in the last game in uh, warm-ups. Got a puck in the throat. So um, I'm kind of wondering what go- I'm going to do there. I'm going to lean Boston um, simply because of that kind of situation. They're at home. I'm going to lean Boston for the ML. But as you can tell, I'm not overly confident with this play. Uh, Boston has Pasternak out still. They are getting Smith back. Um, the Islanders are um, had a rough go 
their last game against the Rangers. I'm sure they're going to want to tighten up defensively, but I'm slightly going to lean to Boston here. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, Helen has said uh, thank you, um, Peter Storovich, for the gift left outside for her for sending over the My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace and the Pearlocopter. Uh, you left a little gift for her, and uh, that's lovely. She wanted to thank you for that. And anybody who subscribes, of course, will send Hernandez and Melissa and the Pearlocopter right away to get you your My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Winnipeg and Toronto. I have a play on the line here. So we're going to look at the total. Um, now, here's the thing. Toronto's playing four games in six nights. That's never good for a team. However, Winnipeg has DeMello injured. Um, they have, and they're already kind of having difficulties in the de on, on defense. Uh, so they're a little thin on defense. They have a, a Pellebuck there. Anderson should be playing. Six and a half is high. I'm going to go under. And as you can tell, I'm not 100% confident. This is why it's not a paid pick. But if you got a lean on this and my lean's going to help you, I'm going to go under on this simply because Hellebuck and Anderson are playing and they'll probably hold them down pretty good to get them under six and a half. However, with Winnipeg's injuries, and Toronto's offense that they have. Now, they're gonna, they're, their offense should be a little tired. The whole team will probably be a little tired. So I'm going to lean under six and a half. Philadelphia versus Buffalo. I can't give you any play here. I've given both the total and the line up. Um, should I give you a paid pick on this one? Yeah, you know what? What the heck? I'm going to give you a paid pick. Um, Philadelphia has Couturier out, which has jumped this line up a little bit to 176. You're seeing 191 here, almost even monies here. This is a really nice pick I'm giving you. I'm taking Philadelphia. I think they can cover with loss of Couturier. Um both of them have played equal amount of games. Philadelphia is at home. Nice line if you can get it at 191. That is a sneaky good pick I'm giving you there, boys and girls. That's a paid pick, so you better appreciate that right now. Do you appreciate it? How about now? How about now? Okay. You don't have that look of appreciation on your face. I kind of little. Maybe you need a little pearls. Here's some pearls. Some pearlos pearls for you. Here. There you go. Now you've got the look of appreciation I'm looking for. Great. Okay. Uh, Karen Zelansky, by the way, in the comment section, thank you for commenting down there. And you were going to take uh, the Oilers minus one and a half against Montreal Canadiens. We got to discuss, and I'd really like to know what you ended up taking there because you said you were going to change the pick as I made you aware of the fact that they were playing three games in four nights. So uh, let me know what you've played. Karen Zelansky is one of the finest followers in the land. I love her a lot. Nashville versus Carolina. Uh, Carolina coming off a tough loss to Detroit. Honestly, they got to get her going, man. And Mrazek has been a fool. I do believe I have – what do I have on here? Um Yeah, I think I can give you both. Okay, yeah, I didn't give any picks here. So I'm going to give, I'm going to say not over five and a half here. This is an, I might end up actually giving this as a paid pick, but I'm going to say over five and a half. The thing I'm worried about with this five and a half is that um, Nashville is a, is a little bit, could be a little bit tired here. And I'm taking Nashville ML also. I'll give you Nashville ML. I'm apprehensive. Carolina's having a tough time scoring. Um, but that could open up at any time. Svechnikov and all of that. There's a lot of moving parts here in this play. Nashville also, I'm a little apprehensive because I want to see if Saros is going to be playing or Rene. 
it's possible with Morazic in, they could identify that as a weaker goaltender and give Saros a chance to take a rest here and try Rene here. Um, that way, I might give it out as a pick for my patrons. And if you want to know if that's going to be an absolute pick for me, and I do give it to uh, my paid customers, you can become a paid customer. And I always watch the goaltending and see what happens. And I post it or change my picks um, throughout the day. So San Jose versus St. Louis. Um, I have a play. I have a play on both. No, no. I, I can give you the over under here. I'm liking St. I'm going to take under six. And this might become a play too. I'm not sure. I have a feeling that uh, St. Louis generally plays under, but the problem is, is they got their butt kicked against kicked against Colorado the last game. I'm sure they're going to be ticked and playing more defensively and just playing mad. And San Jose just doesn't look very good right now. Um, so I think St. Louis will come out flying and possibly, but uh, will still play a strong defensive game after that blowout. That's why I'm kind of leaning the under. Minnesota versus Anaheim. Uh, I can give you a pick on both here. I'm gonna, I'm taking wild, uh, the wild ML, and I'm taking the under five and a half against Anaheim simply because Anaheim's gonna have a tough time scoring. But the Minnesota Wild, um, they have that rookie. Every time I try to think of his name, I forget it. But they have that rookie that they just got, who everybody a lot who who looks like he could be rookie of the year this year, scoring quite a bit. They're playing a fast game. Thing is, Anaheim's playing very defensively, um, and they're playing well defensively, keeping it at bay. And they have Gibson now. If Miller, if they decide to play Miller here, I may change my mind. That's what I mean. That's why it's really good to follow me on the Patreon. Calgary versus Vancouver. I have a play on the on the uh, line here. Um, do I have a play on the over under? Uh, I can give you an under, over under on here. Um, I'm leaning under six and a half. These Vancouver's played a lot of hockey. Uh, Calgary might be a little fresher here, um, but Vancouver's got a lot of firepower. Uh, the reason why I'm, I'm not completely sure is simply because Vancouver can score in bunches at any time. And uh, I'm not sure who they're going to be playing for goaltenders. But as it stands right now, I'm leaning the under six and a half. Edmonton, Montreal, I have a play on the total as well. In fact, uh, uh, but I can give you a under six and a half here with a little bit of trepidation. I could see this going over. Both of them play a very offensive style. Um, however, with Price and Net and Edmonton possibly being a little tired, I could see an under six and a half. I can't give you a play on Arizona Vegas as I've got to play on both as paid picks. But I did give you a free pick with Philadelphia. I hope you enjoy that. I know we're going to hit like crazy. Watch how we hit like crazy. Head over to Patreon. Support the channel. Support me on this. I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. I don't actually bet myself. People are like, well, if you hit like this and you're making all this money, why do you need my money on Patreon? I have this weird thing, and I've tried it over and over again where I bet, and as soon as I start betting, I don't hit the picks, and I don't know why. So it really helps if you support me on Patreon. Hitting the subscribe and the bell and all that helps get this channel going so we can hit a 1,000. Head over to um, Ricketts Picks too. He has fantastic picks over there. Is another one. I don't mind shouting out some other great cappers out there. And Ricketts Picks is great, especially for baseball when baseball gets going. But he does NCAA really well. Football, everything. Um, I love the guy. I would highly recommend you go check him out. My friends, it's been great having you today. I hope you enjoy me for my live at between 10 and 12 in the morning. And I hope you enjoy these fine frolic. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.